Is your car secretly begging for help? Your car might be sending out distress signals without you even realizing it. If you've noticed rough idling, sluggish acceleration, or an unexpected drop in fuel efficiency, you might be dealing with a failing mass airflow MAFI sensor. The MAF sensor is like your engine's silent guardian, measuring the air entering the engine to ensure the perfect fuel to air ratio. But when it starts to fail, it doesn't just quit instantly, it gradually chokes your engine's performance, making every drive feel worse until the problem becomes impossible to ignore. Today, we're diving into the five common warning signs of a bad MAF sensor, how to diagnose the issue, and most importantly, how to fix it before it turns into a costly disaster. If you want to keep your car running at peak performance, stick around. Number one, sudden loss of power is your engine struggling to breathe. Imagine pressing down on the gas pedal, expecting a surge of power, but instead, your car hesitates like it's gasping for air. This isn't just annoying, it's a major red flag. A faulty MAF sensor miscalculates the air intake, leading your engine to either run too rich, too much fuel, or too lean, not enough fuel. The result? A sluggish, unresponsive drive that makes every acceleration feel like a struggle. You might notice this issue when merging onto highways or climbing hills, where power is crucial. If your car suddenly feels weaker than usual, your MF sensor might be to blame. How to diagnose it, use an OBD2 scanner to check for error codes like P0101, P102, or P103, all of which point to MAF sensor issues. Check for loose or disconnected sensor wiring that might be disrupting airflow readings. Take note if the issue worsens in different weather conditions, as MAF sensors can fail intermittently. How to fix it? Start by cleaning your MAF sensor using a specialized MAF sensor cleaner, not regular carb cleaner, it can damage the sensor. If cleaning doesn't work, replacing the sensor is your best bet. Aftermarket. MAF sensors can be affordable, but for long-term reliability, OEM replacements are recommended. Number two, rough idling and engine stalling, the silent sabotage. Ever been stuck at a red light when suddenly your car starts shaking like an earthquake or even dies out completely? A faulty MAF sensor might be behind this frustrating issue. When the sensor feeds incorrect data to the ECU, the engine struggles to maintain a steady idle speed, leading to rough vibrations or sudden stalls. What's worse, this problem doesn't always trigger a check engine light, making it even harder to pinpoint. How to diagnose it? Observe your RPM gauge while idling if it fluctuates erratically or drops dangerously low. Your MF sensor could be the culprit. Listen for unusual sounds from the engine, like excessive sputtering or misfiring. Unplug the MAF sensor while the engine is running. If the idle stabilizes, your sensor might be faulty. How to fix it? Clean the sensor first to remove any dirt or oil buildup that might be throwing off readings. Check for damaged or leaking intake hoses that might be introducing unmetered air into the system. If the issue persists, replace the sensor to restore smooth idling and prevent unexpected stalls. Number three, poor fuel economy is your car secretly wasting gas. If your trips to the gas station are becoming more frequent, but your driving habits haven't changed, your MAF sensor might be at fault. A malfunctioning sensor can cause the ECU to inject too much fuel, leading to wasted gas, excessive emissions, and a lighter wallet. What makes this even trickier? Many drivers don't immediately suspect the MAF sensor when fuel efficiency drops. Instead, they blame things like driving style, tire pressure, or bad fuel. But the real culprit might be a dirty or failing sensor that's causing your engine to guzzle more fuel than it actually needs. How to diagnose it, eh? Check your fuel trim readings with an OBD2 scanner. If they're excessively high or low, your engine is compensating for bad airflow data. Look for sooty black deposits on your exhaust pipe, which indicate a rich fuel mixture. Compare your current MPG to your usual fuel efficiency. A noticeable drop could mean the MAF sensor is failing. How to fix it, clean or replace the MAF sensor to restore accurate fuel to air ratio readings. Ensure your air filter is clean, as a clogged filter can also disrupt airflow measurements. If your fuel trims remain unstable after fixing the sensor, a deeper diagnostic check might be needed. Number four, check engine light your car's desperate cry for help. 
The check engine light is every driver's worst nightmare, but it's also your car's way of telling you that something is seriously wrong. If your MAF sensor is malfunctioning, the ECU detects inconsistent air readings and triggers the light. While a check engine light alone isn't enough to confirm a bad MAEF sensor, pairing it with the other symptoms on this list makes it a prime suspect. How to diagnose it, scan your vehicle with an OBD2 reader and look for codes like P0101, P102, or Piri 71 P0174 lean air fuel mixture codes. Check for other air intake issues like vacuum leaks or a clogged intake manifold, which could be linked to MAF sensor problems. Reset the check engine light after cleaning the MAF sensor to see if the issue persists. How to fix it. If cleaning the MAF sensor doesn't clear the code, replacing it is likely necessary. Always double check for air leaks before assuming the sensor is at fault. If the check engine light comes back after replacing the sensor, further ECU diagnostics may be needed. Number five, hard starts and hesitation, the warning sign you can't ignore. Nothing's worse than turning the key and getting a sluggish, hesitant start. If your car takes longer to fire up or even stalls right after starting, your MAF sensor might be sending bad air to fuel data at ignition. This is one of the most dangerous symptoms because it can leave you stranded in the worst possible moments, like during cold mornings or in heavy traffic. Ignoring it could lead to complete failure, forcing you into an expensive tow or repair. How to diagnose it? Check if the problem only happens during cold starts. Bad MF sensors often struggle more in colder weather. Notice if your car hesitates after starting, especially when shifting into drive or reverse. Try disconnecting the MAF sensor before starting. If the engine starts more smoothly, your sensor is likely faulty. How to fix it, clean or replace the MAF sensor immediately to prevent worsening starting issues. Inspect your spark plugs and fuel injectors, as these can also contribute to difficult starts. If your car still struggles, a deeper ECU reset or reprogramming might be needed. Act now before it's too late. A failing MAF sensor is more than just an inconvenience. It's a ticking time bomb that can cripple your engine's performance, burn through your fuel, and leave you stranded. The good news? Catching these warning signs early can save you hundreds, if not thousands, in repairs. Ignoring the issue can also lead to unnecessary wear on other engine components, turning a simple fix into a costly repair. Thank you for watching. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with more essential car maintenance tips. Keeping an eye on your MAF sensor can save you from costly repairs and keep your engine running smoothly.